iPad OS 19 marks a major turning point for the iPad. For years, users have called for a true desktop-style experience on their tablets. Apple heard those calls and answered with a sweeping redesign. This update moves the iPad beyond its smartphone-inspired roots. It transforms the tablet into a genuine productivity powerhouse. The hardware has long been capable. M-series chips deliver laptop class speed. Liquid Retina XDR displays shine with room-filling brightness. The Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil Pro unlock new input methods, yet the software still felt bound by mobile limitations. Split view could only divide the screen in half. Slide over, let a second app float, but juggling more than two apps felt clumsy. Pro apps lived on the Mac, not the iPad. Even the most powerful iPad felt like a phone with a big screen. With iPad OS 19, those limits vanish. Apple borrowed inspiration from Mac OS, yet preserved the iPad's touch-first identity. You now get full desktop-style Windows, native Pro apps, a smarter home screen, and a desktop mode when you dock your iPad. Touch and Pencil remain first-class inputs. At any moment, you can tap, swipe, or draw. Then plug in a keyboard or trackpad and work like you're on a MacBook. Finally, the iPad lives up to its potential. In this deep dive, we'll explore every corner of iPadOS 19. We will see how full-featured Pro apps run natively. We will examine the real windowing system and workspaces. We will inspect the new home, screen, enhanced widgets, and adaptive shortcuts. We will unveil true dual display support and the all-new desktop mode. We will measure performance gains on the upcoming M4-powered iPad Pros. And we will reflect on how the iPad now claims its own place in Apple's lineup, not just as a companion to the iPhone or MacBook. By the end, you will know why iPad OS 19 is not just another update. It is a reinvention of the tablet. It is the software leap so many have waited for. Let's begin. Pro-grade apps on iPad. One of the biggest complaints about the iPad has been the lack of professional software. On the Mac, you have Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Xcode, and the full Adobe Creative Cloud suite. On the iPad, you had watered-down versions or nothing at all. That changes with iPad OS 19. Apple brings its flagship creative apps to the tablet. Third parties follow suit. Final Cut Pro now runs natively on iPad. The interface retains the magnetic timeline you know and love. All editing tools appear at your fingertips. You can trim clips with a touch gesture. You can drag transitions and effects from a sidebar. Color wheels, scopes, and keyframe controls adapt to the pencil. You can draw mask shapes directly on the viewer. You can grade footage with swipes. Under the hood, the timeline plays back. 4K video in real time, powered by the M4 chip's hardware acceleration. You can export Apple ProRes and H.264 Masters straight to local storage or iCloud. This is the same Final Cut you use on a MacBook Pro. Reimagined for Touch, Logic Pro joins the party with its complete instrument library. The full Alchemy synth engine appears on the iPad screen. You can record multiple tracks of audio using a USB-C mic. The mixer supports multi-touch fader control, so you can adjust volume, panning, and effects with two fingers. The piano roll expands to fill the display. You can draw in MIDI notes with the pencil. You can loop sections with a tap. Drummer tracks, adapt to your session's style. The M4 handles dozens of tracks and plugins with no hiccups. Xcode arrives to let developers code on the go. The workspace splits between the code editor and a live preview of your Swift UI app. You can refactor code with a swipe. You can inspect variables with a tap. The built-in Swift Playgrounds integration means you can prototype new ideas on the train or plane. When you return to your Mac, your work syncs via iCloud or Git. For the first time, you have the power to build, test, and deploy apps entirely on the iPad. Adobe Suite, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and After Effects, Steps. Up, Photoshop on iPad now includes full layer styles, masks, blend modes, and adjustment layers. Liquify and Healing Brush Tools work with the precision of a desktop. Illustrator delivers the pen tool, the Pathfinder panel, and precise anchor point editing with the pencil. Premiere Pro's timeline aligns clips with magnetic snapping. You can color grade with the same Lumetri controls as on the desktop. After Effects brings real-time previews and keyframe assistance. Video, graphics, and images flow between Apple, apps, and Adobe apps on the same device. AutoCAD and other CAD tools gain full drafting power. 
You can sketch with the pencil. You can place real-world coordinates. You can extrude 3D models with drag gestures. You can render scenes with M-series, GPU cores in seconds. The iPad becomes a mobile design studio. Each app adapts to both touch and traditional input. A connected keyboard and trackpad reveal hidden menus and shortcuts. The pencil brings fine-grained control. You never lose the tablet's fluid responsiveness. This isn't a half measure. It is the full pro toolkit, optimized for the iPad's unique strengths. Real windowing freedom. Multitasking on iPad has always felt constrained. Split view only splits in half. Slide over floats a second app, but blocks part of the main view. You could switch again, but juggling three or more apps meant constant swiping and window juggling. iPadOS 19 tears down these limits with a desktop style windowing system. Now, every app can open in a free floating window. You can drag a window from the dock or tap a new window button in the menu bar. You can drag any window's corner to resize. You can double tap the title bar to maximize or restore. Windows overlap without hiding content. They drop shadows and highlights to indicate focus. Beyond basic resizing, iPad OS 19 introduces snap zones. Drag a window toward an edge to snap it, to a quarter or half of the screen. Drag to the top to maximize it. Snap areas glow to guide you. You can arrange three windows in a grid, or four or more on large iPad Pros. There is no hard limit, only the power of your hardware. To manage all open windows, Apple added a new app switcher at the top. It displays thumbnails of every window. You can scroll horizontally to find the one you need. Tap a thumbnail to bring its window to the front. You can also swipe three fingers to quickly cycle between windows in the current workspace. Workspaces. Let you group windows. You can create a writing workspace with Safari, Notes, and Pages. You can create a review workspace with Mail, Messages, and a PDF viewer. Workspaces appear as cards on a new home bar. Swipe left or right on E. The bar to switch workspaces. When you close and reopen the iPad, your workspaces return as you left them. Stage Manager returns, but reborn. Stage Manager 2.0 no longer forces windows to the left. Instead, it shows your workspaces along a side rail. Each workspace card lists its open windows. Tapping a card activates that workspace, and you see all its windows in place. The system remembers window positions and sizes per workspace. Stage Manager can even suggest new workspaces based on your habits. If you often open Keynote with notes afterward, it may prompt you to save that pair as a workspace. This real windowing transforms the iPad from a limited split-view device into a flexible desktop. You can monitor email in one window, run Slack. In another, draft a document in a third, and view reference files in a fourth. You can do it all at once, with no hidden apps. Dynamic Home Screen the home screen evolves to match the rise in productivity. No longer a static grid of icons, it becomes an interactive dashboard. Widgets gain new powers. The calendar widget can display full meeting invites with buttons to join video calls. Mail widgets show your top three flagged messages and let you archive or reply inline. Music widgets present a scrub bar, skip controls, and album artwork. You can pinch to resize a widget, revealing more controls. App icons now support live previews. Long press on a photos icon, and you'll see a slideshow of recent pictures. Long press on reminders, and you can check off tasks without opening the app. Folders also show dynamic previews. Open a folder, and you'll see a grid of previews for each app inside. A glimpse of your last note. A mini view of your top contact message. A peek at your current screen record. You no longer have to guess which app holds the content you need. Shortcuts come center stage. A shortcuts widget can display up to six buttons. Tap Start Presentation to open Keynote, set Do Not Disturb, and adjust screen brightness. Tap Field Notes to open notes in a blank page with a preset template. You can create personal home screens for work, travel, or media consumption. Each screen shows the widgets, folders, and shortcuts you need for that mode. Use one screen for editing photos. Use another for writing. Use another for evening media. App Library, introduced in a previous release, now integrates with the home. Screen fluidly. You can hide pages and rely solely on App Library or pin essential apps to the dock. 
A simple upward swipe shows your full library, sorted into categories and recent apps. You can search alphabetically or by category. App library suggestions now learn from your habit patterns. The apps you open most during your morning routine appear first. Shortcuts for search and Siri now live at the top of the home screen. Pull, down to reveal a search bar that finds files, apps, documents, and system settings. Siri suggestions appear below based on your schedule or location. For example, if it's your usual workout time, you might see Open Workout App and turn on Do Not Disturb. The home screen, once a static starting point, now adapts to your needs. It becomes a productivity hub rather than just an app launcher.